Welcome to Get Weird. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about a movie I recently saw entitled The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I don't know if you can tell by the tone of my voice or my mannerisms, but I was not pleased with this film by any means. First off, and probably my main complaint of the film, completely, completely unrealistic. Just this film, um, or what it's about, uh, the film is about Brad Pitt, who plays uh, the, the character Benjamin Button, and he is born with uh, the condition where he is born old, in which he, he then ages younger. So, as time goes by, he, he gets younger. In which, you know, obviously, in reality, we grow older. I felt Brad Pitt's performance was very flat. Uh, in which maybe maybe lent to the fact that the movie was uh, very unrealistic to me. I thought, Brad Pitt, uh, pick somebody else. I don't believe he's ever going to get old. I think that guy is going to live until he's 400 years old. And you're all laughing at me now. You're judging me as a person, uh, laughing. Oh, he's he's not gonna live till he's 400. Well, we'll see who's laughing when he's 400. How does that sound? Um, I wish I could have saw more things like sword fighting. I think sword fighting is is a really exciting thing to watch, and I, I wish there was a lot more of sword fighting. You know, I guess uh, maybe maybe it was my fault. Maybe it was my fault that. I had watched some films over the, uh, the my Christmas break, in which I've seen. Uh, I saw right before the mo this movie, I saw The Pacifier, starring Vin Diesel, and that movie was uh, just a joy. It was just a joy, and maybe watching that raised my expectations of seeing another great film. Um, after that, and obviously this movie, <laughs> we can't even put them in the same boat, because that boat would sink and the only survivor would be the pacifier. So that that may have been, you know, my fault for watching such good films and in an anticipation to this film, The Curious Case. Uh, the character of Benjamin Button didn't change. You know, this this simpleton with wisdom. It's uh, far, far too much like uh, another film that I, I, I enjoy entitled uh, that, or that film is uh, Forrest Gump. It's, this film tried too hard to be Gump-like and not, not buying it. I'm not going to buy it, David Fincher. I'm really not going to buy it. For a melodrama, for a melodrama concerned with emotional pain, it fell to formal trickery over human connection and, and sadly I think that's what's at fault here you know in layman's terms it was stupid that movie is dumb um, I think I think the film also is um, it's, it's really poopy and I think that um, my film can beat up its film, and um, I think that if I was given a chance, if I was given $1,000, I could also make a film because I have uh, sometimes I uh, sit and I um, think of ideas, and a lot of my ideas are a lot better than um, about an old man um, getting younger. And also, um, how does this thing work? Do we just plug it in to the thing? Okay, um, and, you know, I just... Mm.